as I'm looking for uh, this job, 5630, oh, I gotta go back the other way. I wanted to talk about, I don't know. I really don't know how to title this, but I was just, you know, just thinking, having thoughts and, you know, I want to talk about like being successful. That's what I want to talk about. Being successful and why we do what we do and stuff like that, you know, Um, there are so many courses out there. You know, let me start with saying I think that our motivations are wrong. Like many of our motivations are wrong and many of our inspirations are wrong. Much of what motivates us is um, money. Money is a big motivator for some, and you know, probably for the majority of people. And that's why when you see these ads, they always mention money. And like, what in the freaking world? Why is what happened to 5645? It must be this one because I didn't see an address. It gotta be this one, but um, you know, that's why these ads. You know, they always talk about money, right? How quick you can make. Like, you can make $10,000 or $5,000 or blah, blah, blah. You can make it so fast and, you know. I wonder if that's it. That might be it right there. It's either this one or that one. I'm going to say it's got to be this one. Yeah, so... You know, the majority of ads that you see promoting different courses and programs, um, they all seem to concentrate on money. I don't even see the main entrance to this joint. Maybe I gotta go down here. What'd that say? A 65, so it gotta be this one. The main entrance is through there. Yeah, so and um and I mean I get it. I definitely get it. You know, I mean we can't do nothing in this life without money. Um people are all right, I'm just about to park and ask somebody how to get up in here I'm gonna park and I'm gonna finish recording this message and then I'm gonna call the customer and be like yo uh, how, how do I get up in this boy but um yeah that's that's what you know you see the ass and you know the cars and the houses and all this stuff and they talk they tell you how much money you can make and how fast you can make it that's another thing that's another big inspiration or motivation for i think of the majority of the people i want to get it and i want to get it fast so them people that come on and talk about you could get it this fast and you could get this much this fast you know um they sell you know, because everybody's, you know, like, majority of people are thirsty, you know, for financial gain, and they, you know, they want it quick, they don't want to wait, and, and people don't want to wait, and people don't want to, this might be it right here, I'm about to park right here, and put my hazards on, because that's what hazards are for, and, um, record this video and then i'm gonna go in there and be like yo what uh what address is this and find out if i'm even in the right spot but yeah that's 
that's that's where that's where people's heads are at. I want it, and I want it fast. And um, it's wrong. It's it's the wrong motivation. It's the wrong. You're being inspired by the wrong thing. Why? Let's talk about why. Because. I'd say the primary reason why is you got to go back. You got to go all the way back. You got to, and you got to understand that we were all created, right? None of us created ourselves. We were all created by a power and an and, and intelligence, like infinitely greater than us, right? And so... In that creation, we all were given like a reason for being here. We were all given gifts. Um, that's, you know, the majority of us, right? Um, I'd say the majority of us were given gifts, and talents, and abilities. You know, we were given you know we're we're good at certain things and there's certain things that we're good at that we really enjoy doing now when these when people are you know chasing money and chasing the fast money they're not considering any of this they're not thinking about what they were gifted to do and what their reason for being here is they're just thinking about getting money fast and that's not right I mean that is so not right because the bottom line to this is if you're not doing what you should be doing like if you're not fulfilling your reason for being here and if you're not doing what you really enjoy doing what you know there's a desire there's a passion that was put in you um to do what you were here to do when you are doing what you're here to do when you're fulfilling your reason for being here you will love doing it like nothing else like it won't be work like you could spend 10 12 14 hours a day doing it and you will enjoy every minute of it like you won't be complaining about it being hard, even if it's hard. Um, you're not complaining about being stressed out if it's stressful, even if it's stressful. Um, you know, of course, there's a learning phase and that can be stressful and it can be challenging. And But it's all good. Like you're not complaining about anything. Like you're loving every step of the process. Whatever you got to go through to get to that finish line you're like you're loving every step of it and so you know people that are you know chasing you know the, the quick money like that they're like hammers that are trying to be screwdrivers right even if you you know you may achieve some financial success you may achieve a lot of financial success you know um but you will never be as happy as you will be doing what you're supposed to be doing never and so you know the motivation is wrong it, it really is um this is not an opinion this is the truth um, and so, you know, me personally, I mean, and I've been there, like I've been motivated by the quick money, probably most of my life, you know, um, so it's just, you know, when coming to the other side that, um, you just see things differently, you know, and for me, um, it's just a lot of things that turn me off now. Like, 
I, because I understand there's a process to everything and people want to shortcut the process. You know, if you're trying to achieve greatness or you're trying to achieve a certain level of financial success or like whatever it is, whatever it is, there's a process to it. Um, Man, I was just listening to E.T. this morning while I was working out and he said something that really stuck with me and I love it, love it, love it so much. He started talking about Pac-Man, playing the game of Pac-Man. And he, he's talking about how there's a pattern in Pac-Man. And pretty much on every board, as far as I know, on every board, there's a pattern. Right? And, you know, if you know the pattern and you follow the pattern, them ghosts won't be able to get you. Because there's a pattern and it, it never fails. You know, the ghosts operate according to that pattern every single time. So once you learn how they move, once you get the pattern down, you win it. Like there's nothing that can stop you from winning. And so he carried that over to saying there's a pattern in life for the haves and the have nots. And that is so true and it's so deep and dope. Like I love it so much that, um, my opinion, one of the dopest messages he ever that I've ever heard from him. And it is. So when you're trying to achieve whatever you're trying to achieve, there's a pattern. There's a process. And everybody, I'm not saying everybody, a lot of people, the majority of people from what I've seen, want to shortcut the process because they want it quick. They want it fast. They want it now. But the process is priceless. You have to go through the process to be ready for the success. If you don't go through the process, you won't be ready for the success. And that's the truth. And the process is so amazing. I've been going through the process <laughs> for a long time. And I'm just loving the person that I'm becoming. Like, it's amazing to me um, just to see how much I've changed over the years as I'm going through the process. It's a lot of, uh, you know, the, the, you know, for you to get to, I gotta take this, this might be a work call. 